Yeah, sir, you can start. Right, so I mean, the today's topic is about uh, delete records permanently from recycle bin in Salesforce. Uh, the main reason actually why we wanted to delete these uh, records from recycle bin is actually oftentimes in a large enterprises or organizations actually. So we get a chance to, you know, using the bad job or un un unwanted records, we will be deleting it actually. Uh, those records will not directly do the hard delete. It will go into sit in the recycle bin. Uh, and uh, these records will stay uh, in the recycle bin for up to 15 days. So there is a performance is issues at the same time, you know, that uh, recycle bin, uh, the data is full and then uh, R will get slow. And uh, moreover, uh, I can explain you in this, this slide actually. So what exactly Uh, the recycle bin concept is. If you look into the first point, in Salesforce, when we delete any record from an object, it will not be deleted permanently, right? And it will be stored in recycle bin till 15 days from the deletion date. This is what I was mentioning. So this everybody knows uh, about this point. And then the second point, if you look at it, the number of records stored in recycle bin depends on number of user licenses of the organization has purchased and multiplied with 5,000 records. This is not not to any, anyone. Uh, what it means is actually, suppose any given organizations, if there is 100 licenses, assume that. If the uh, organization purchases 100 Salesforce licenses, means 100 multiplied by uh, 5,000, right? So almost, uh, uh, it's a uh, 5 lakhs uh, records that can be uh, stored in recycle bin means like when you go you are allowed to when you try to delete the records suppose and then it can store up to uh, 5 lakh uh, records uh, within the recycle bin if it is more than that actually right it will be a hard deleted automatically so uh, that is what the recycle bin cap uh, capabilities and if you look at the third point the number of records in recycle bin crosses this limit Right, Salesforce automatically deletes the old records from recycle bin, which are at least in recycle bin for two hours. So this is what I was mentioning, right? Uh, which means, suppose I'm giving one example. There is the if, if there are five, let's take a small smaller number. There's in the organization there's only five licenses, right? And the Salesforce organization there's only five licenses, which means as per the second point. There's a, for each license, it goes to 5,000 records. So which is nothing but 25,000 of records that can be stored in the recycle bin. Suppose if we are trying to uh, delete these records, right? And uh, by default, using the data loader, we have total 50,000 records, right? Using the data loader, we're trying to delete the records means the very old data, which is nothing but exactly the records that got stored in the last two hours, right? Which means uh, 25,000 of the latest that will go and delete actually, right? And then, then 25 will be remain as it is. And uh, that uh, that's how the data will store in the recycle bin. So that, that's the logic with, uh, that Salesforce is in, uh, assigned to. Hope you understand this point. If you guys do not understand, let me know. I can re explain. We understand. All right. So, the other point is actually so the main concept is suppose you know we need to delete the record, right? It's a hard delete. As soon as you delete that, it's a hard delete. These records will get stored in the recycle bin. But how do we delete hard delete from the recycle bin directly? Suppose you have multiple objects, right? Suppose if there is account records are there, contact records are there, right? And some other objects records also there. There is there's no way for us, okay, I want to delete only uh, the record that belongs to account or maybe the record that is belongs to only contact, right? I want to delete any specific record, you understand? 
or maybe I, I, have, I know the IDs of uh, the records, right? Where I wanted to delete it, right? Through, I mean, uh, the hard delete, which is, which I wanted to clean up the recycle bin, okay? For that, Salesforce provided, there's a method called uh, the standard uh, empty recycle bin method. So we can use this method to uh, delete these records completely from the recycle bin. If you look at that first one, right, to permanently delete the specified records for the recycle bin, we use the database dot empty recycle bin with a list of IDs and an ID. So if you, if you know the IDs, then that will be collected in the uh, list and that we can use in this particular method. We can pass as a parameter and then I can show you the code also, how we can do it, right? That is one way. The other way is to permanently delete the specified S object from the recycle bin, right? And uh, obviously the passing parameter over here is S object with uh, the object name, right? S object. So that's how the declaration. There's one more way, uh, which is the list of S objects, right? Suppose I want to list of records, a list of accounts, which I want to do only the account related records or only opportunity related account uh, records. Those need, be, need to be deleted. So that can be collected in the, in the form of list. And then uh, that can be used as database dot empty recycle bin, and then a list of S object and S object. So these are the ways uh, that uh, we can uh, use. Uh, I mean, the uh, method can be used to delete the uh, recycle bin uh, records. All right. So. This is the code actually, uh, how the code can be executed. You can write an Apex class, right? This is what uh, we can use. This is a call, I mean, public class purge test, right? And then I'm declaring one method, public static method I'm declaring, create a purge, create and purge. Initially, what I'm trying to do for the testing purposes, I'm trying to create one account which is account A is equal to new account. I'm trying to instantiate. And then I'm trying to give the name is equal to test account. And then I'm trying to insert the record of account, which is A. During this time, I wanted to put the system dot debug and A. And then this is nothing but up to, this is the fourth line, right? So if you look at here in the debug line, the first one is actually, right? It is coming as a name is equal to test account, right? And then ID is equal to this. This system dot debug, uh, this instance information is coming here, right? And once I create this one, what I'm doing, I'm deleting A. Okay, I'm trying to delete it. At this point of time, I'm trying to put the try catch. So if you look at the try, uh, what I'm trying to uh, do the operation here, account abc is equal to during this time i am trying to write a select query and get the account that i got deleted right select id from account where id is equal to a dot id right account is and uh, in the exception what i am getting system dot debug account is not available since it is got delete a means it's already uh, deleted right then this is what the statement you're getting it. Account is not available. So far, actually, I'm just trying to show you how the system is reacting. And we didn't even use that our uh, database.empty recycle bin method yet. Understand? So at least how, when you try to delete the record, how system is behaving, I'm trying to show in that debug block so far, right? What we did, we did delete it. And then of, of course, we try to extract it and we try to see what is happening, right? This is what happened in the two line. Account is not available. After this, what I'm trying to do again, I'm trying to do the undelete A, right? Now, when you try to delete this record, it is there in the recycle bin, right? So when it is there in the recycle bin, when you go and do the undelete A, so from the recycle bin to, again, it will be uh, moved to the our Salesforce R, actually, Salesforce R database, right? So that's where, uh, the, when you try to do the try and uh, try to get the use that uh, select query uh, within the account object, right? Where ID is equal to A. This is where system dot debug ABC, right? 
So if you look at this one, this is the ID we are getting it, right? Account is not our. So in this particular four lines, which one is going to come? Because we are already undeleted. That's why this is coming. ABC is coming with a value. This is not going to execute. Hope uh, so far with me, uh, right? You guys are up to this line. Do you yeah. have any questions? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. So after this, what is happening? Again, I'm trying to delete, right? I'm trying to delete it. And after that, when you say when you when you try to delete A means it is going to recycle, right? After this, what I'm doing? This is where exactly the method uh, which I'm trying to use here to delete the recycle bin record, right? It went to recycle bin here. After this, database dot empty recycle bin, and then I'm trying to put A. Now this time I'm trying to put system dot debug A, right? System dot debug A. Which is nothing but what? So this record is still instance is there. I'm just using the system dot debug, right? I'm not uh, retrieving the data, and that that is what this information, right? So name is equal to test. This is where that uh, instance that information. This is a record. We are trying to delete it from the recycle bin, and then when you, now it is gone, right? As for the system perspective, this is completely gone from the system the recycle bin also. During this time, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do the try, try catch again. At this time, I'm trying to do a try and delete A. Now, anyone can answer what is going to happen here when you try to do and delete A? We cannot delete it. already permanently deleted from recycle bin. Perfect. It's not available. Record is not available. It's not available. Right? So that is where exactly the catch exception. So this is and delete A exception, right? And uh, E dot get message. This is the message, undelete fail, first, first exception on row, that ID, so on, so right? It's fail is the message come back, right? And that's where system dot end. This is the end, right? So these are all the lines are related to this particular code. And what is the typo after that? After you paste this code, yeah, this is what I'm trying to explain. And how do you test it? The purge test dot create and purge method, right? So this is the class name. And this is the method name. And since this is a static method, we can directly use the class dot method to test it. Right? The function empty recycle bin is doing the main work over here for deleting the records empty. In a similar way, now I just use the one object, right? And whatever that I uh, showed in the other slide, especially the list of accounts, I mean list of s object and list of a set of id the the ids thing, the, those things we can use and try to delete it. So it would delete the records in the recycle bin. Uh, yeah, that's all from my yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, this is a very important question, sir. Recently asked in interview. So yes. just remember this question: like uh, how we can delete a, uh, how we can permanently delete records from the Apex code. The last question like this. So how you need to give answer is we have to use the empty recycle bin method. Database dot empty recycle bin method we have to use. In this, after deleting account, either either a single record or a list of records, whatever it may be, same record, same parameter you have to pass in the empty recycle bin method, so that it will permanently delete records in the recycle bin also. Okay, so it will be like a performance also will improve if there is no data in this recycle bin at all. Thank you, sir. It is really helpful for the interview and all. Thank, Thank you for the presentation. You.